Here we have uh, federal artillery ready to move out on the field. So where are you guys headed? Got me, sir. They didn't tell you yet, huh? No, sir. Where are you all from? Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. Nice looking outfit. Thank you. We have an original piece on the field. On the right hand side, this is the James White. Push for Allen. Light artillery. And uh, they actually have two. The interesting thing is this is a six pounder that's been rifled, which makes it the James White. So if you hadn't seen it, go by the camera. folks from California Tennessee and California mostly Tennessee from Pennsylvania what town Altoona Pennsylvania Best show in town today. <laughs> I have seen him in the watch fires of a hundred circling camps. They have built him an altar in the evening rooms and holes and taps. I can read his light just as well. Are you folks going to be engaged tonight at six? Think so? It'd be a shame if you weren't. Yep. Here we go. Mounted artillery. United States Artillery Reserve. Dedicated, he was just dedicated to him this morning at the ceremony right here on this spot with all the uh, artillery brigades that are here today. And uh, also over here in this camp, which is where I'm located which includes uh, Cooper's Battery out of Western Pennsylvania. Okay. Here they come. Here they go.
this is artillery and then the infantry is further on down uh, then if you look way out yonder there's a big red barn and I think this that road going by the barn is Table Rock Road on the other side of Table Rock Road over there is the Confederate camp I'd say it's about a mile away and this is all spectator parking up here there you go Now we're approaching the grandstand, which is in the distance over there. And here is the federal infantry camp spread out over, oh, I don't know, five acres or more, maybe 10 acres. And over here is the sutlers, where they, uh, People set up and sell Civil War period clothing, cookware, tents, uh, uniforms, just about anything Civil War they sell over here. All right, I'm looking for General Lee. He said he'd be over here, so we'll keep looking for General Lee. Got a fife and drum corps down here. I'm not sure if they're Confederate or Federal. Doesn't really matter. folks, General Lee. I found him. <laughs> From North Carolina. Good to see you. Did, so I guess General Stewart didn't make it yet, right? Yeah. Yep. Here's some period music. Looks like a federal orchestra here at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, July the 6th, 2013. People taking advantage of the shade here because it's hot. They're expecting 93 degrees today. You got a camp back there in the woods, that's the federal camp. And you have the boys here set up playing music. And here's the federal infantry camp here at Gettysburg. That's only part of it. Here we go.
as you can see, it's not all battles and cannons and infantry, but there's a lot of period music, period dress, period costumes. It's quite an event here at Gettysburg. There goes the infantry out on the field for a battle that's coming up. I think I'll kind of walk along if I can. There's quite a few uh, federal infantry here for this event. I didn't see quite as many Confederate. Now there might be more showing up to register late to come in for today and tomorrow. The big event is, of course, tomorrow is Pickett's Charge. I'll be part of that. I'm sitting this battle out. My outfit is out on the field. I'm going to try to get some pictures of the artillery unit that I'm with. But for now, Take a look at the Union infantry going out on the field for battle. Maybe I can get up and get a little bit closer. I'll give them one of those, give them hell boys. Give them hell, boys. I'd be with you, but I'm sitting this one out. <laughs> Too hot to be out there. I have to give you a lot of credit. It's warm. It's just humid, not warm. Yes, you're right. Where are you boys from? Texas. Texas, all right. Hood's division, right? Fourth U.S. Cav. Oh, okay. Regular. I should have known that by the stripes. Yellow, you can see the yellow stripes, that's cavalry. I should have known that. And over there is a view of the battlefield. Down here some more infantry camp. Union, or I should say, uh, federal infantry. And way over there yonder in the distance is the battlefield. That's part of the grandstand. Over there. I'll get closer. I'm pretty far away here. That's a, kind of a poor picture there. Okay, we'll have to catch up with them. This is a cavalry battle today. Of course, that's dismounted cavalry. No horses there in the distance is your mounted cavalry. Right over there. And also you see a view of the grandstand. I don't know where our unit's located. I'm walking, that's why I'm jerking up and down like this. I'm not sure where the artillery is. You can see the yellow stripes, there's sergeant stripes. 
yellow sergeant stripes, that's cavalry. Infantry is blue, light blue. And uh, artillery is red. So where you see red stripes and on the shoulders and uh, red stripe maybe down the side of the pants, that would signify uh, artillery. There's a glimpse of the crowd here today. Abraham Lincoln to join us as we do the Pledge of Allegiance to the National Anthem. If you've been here before, please indulge me if you haven't. The boy general. The boy general. It's going to be all over, so, I mean, there's no one place that's going to be better than one other. I would say the green stands up high, it's going to be the best, but there's no one place on the ground that's going to be better than any other. Okay. Looks like General Custer, I'm not sure. And way off in the distance, way over there, is my artillery unit. There. I'll be with those fellows tonight at 6 o'clock. There you go. Oh, with the heat today, I don't blame 93 degrees. Must be kind of hard on the horses, too. I don't imagine they appreciate oh, yeah, yeah. this heat. You all right, bud? Yeah. <laughs> this is the mounted cavalry. That, uh, box on the wheels right here that they're carrying is the limber that holds the, the rounds. <laughs> 